So I'm going to give you a very quick rundown of how to use this new feature for Blender that basically allows you to do multiple non-destructive bevels by assigning this edge attribute property. Um, so I'm, ho I'm hoping you have some familiarity with, with cloning and whatnot from Blender, um, but I'm going to assume that you are not developing Blender, you're just maybe pulling a branch to see what that dev build will look like. Um, basically all you're going to do in that case is you're going to have your git client, git bash client, pick a folder on your computer. For, so for me, it's blender dash git. And then you're just going to want to run a git clone, right? So in this case, it's pick the HTTPS, you git clone blender. Um, and that's going to take a few minutes. That's going to download the whole, the whole repository. Uh, after you do that, you can do a checkout, or if you're not that familiar with uh, Git, you can also use GitHub Desktop. I don't use it for developing, I just use the command line, but if you're just cloning and you want to switch to a branch, it's very easy to, uh, to do that. And the, br the branch you're looking for is bevel-edge-attributes. All right, so once you have all that pulled, um, you should get a folder. So for me, it's in blender-git. You're going to get this blender folder. And inside this blender folder, what you want to do is you're going to hit the command line or uh, whatever the equivalent is on Linux. And you just run make light. Uh, this is also going to take another 15 minutes or so building the first time. Um, it takes a little bit. And I use make light. It doesn't give you any of the add-ons or extensions or anything. Um, it's pretty bare bones, but usually you can test whatever you need to test. Once that build goes through, you should get a folder like this, build underscore, it'll be your platform, and then uh, release. Go to the bin folder, then release, and then you should see a blender.exe. Um, so let's just launch that, and then I'm gonna show you how to use this, uh, this new feature. So let's just drop in a cube, um, give it some shape here. Let's say you wanna bevel some edges, you can do it the normal way where you select a couple edges, we hit control E, and then you can do edge bevel weight. So uh, drag it in one direction, and I always pop this open just to make sure that is actually at a factor of one. Then you can go ahead and just drop in your bevel. This is typical workflow so far. And you can do weight, and then you'll notice it automatically pulls in this bevel weight edge. Um, so you can increase the amount, you can increase the number of segments. But let's say you wanted to bevel a separate edge. We want to do this edge here, but we want to use a different modifier, or we want to use a separate uh, edge group, as it's called in, in other applications. For us in Blender, it's going to be called an edge weight. And really, the magic under the hood comes down to this attributes section, which is fairly new. I think Blender 4.0, 4.1 introduced it. But it's really not that hard to use. Okay, So what we're going to do, we're going to plan ahead a little bit. I know I'm going to use another modifier so we can we can put the modifier in it won't it won't do the right thing just yet we can do weight and you see it's still pulling bevel weight edge if you come down here and hit plus we can create a new attribute i'll call it bevel weights two and change the domain to edge you want it to be an edge and then float so we can add that so you see it comes in alongside bevel weight edge so we have this new group to work with basically from here, you can just click this, and from the drop down, you can select bevel weights too. And then uh, the, here's the tricky part: um, you have to have the attribute selected here in the data tab. And then once your edge is selected in edit mode, you can hit F3, and then you're looking for mesh set attribute. Um, so of course, if you set that to one, then we get our bevel come in. Uh, it's not clamped at any limits right now, but one is one is what you want. So you'll notice it looks weird. Um, that's because when you have multiple non-destructive bevels, uh, the order matters. The order really matters, OK? Um, if you increase the amount, you can see how that outer bevel is clamping. So the bevels do work together nicely. This is basically the expected behavior, and, and it is what would happen if you were doing it manually. But the nice thing is now we have a lot of control over this bevel. Um, so uh, hard surface modelers, they will understand exactly why this is useful. I won't get into that. But yeah, that's the basic workflow, right? You have one bevel there, and then you have a second bevel here, and they have completely different uh, settings. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you can see how you could quickly um, get using this feature. Obviously, it's a, it's a dev branch feature right now, but eventually this is going to get merged into Blender, and hopefully this is a feature that, that people will like. So thanks for watching, and uh, let me know in the comments what you think.